this video find you well. I'm Susan. It's a happy day for our family.、Um, we have a special gift that we bought for ourselves. It's because for、uh, unexpected things happen to our beloved Bond trifecta machine. As you can see, that if I can just lift this up, this is a family style,、uh, the professional Bond trifecta. Uh, machine, and then if you happen to to、uh, go to some professional cafe or coffee roasters, they have their commercial style, which is、uh, much more stronger, and then it has much more volume that they can make more coffee at once. But then this is、uh, our trust,、uh, our trusted coffee machine for the past almost a decade, probably even more than that. Um, unfortunately, good things, even a very well-made machine, sometimes has to go because of the usage and also the the age of the machine.、Um, we want to properly say goodbye to this machine, but then we're going to say hello to a new discovery that I recently found,、uh, basically from you,、uh, many YouTubers.、Uh, Uh, review about this new machine is from Japan, and so I will do a unboxing, and just to see whether it served the purpose was or not. Hopefully yes. Stay tuned. Now it's an exciting moment of unboxing this Twinbird coffee maker. It's supposed to be an automatic coffee machine, and is made in Japan by a、uh, coffee roaster master.、Um, so, interesting thing is that、um, we were able to find this machine on the、uh, Amazon American website, and, but the machine、uh, has to be shipped from Japan. So it took us about almost two weeks to to、uh, basically to see this baby arrive in our house this afternoon. So let's just have a look of、uh, the packaging of this box. So apparently we see some of the the bang up corners right here and a little bit of at the other end of the corner. So apparently,、um, so for Companies who consider to provide、uh, better customer service,、uh, the shipping and also the、uh, the transporting of the goods are important、uh, to take、uh, important consideration. So then the customer satisfaction will be higher. But I'm still going to open it up and hopefully inside the coffee machine is actually well protected. So here goes the unboxing. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can get this open. So far, so good. The top is up. All right. So it's a good start. And then we will see more of the stuff coming out of the box. So there's the Japanese.、Uh, it's basically like a pre-opening of the actual product. There's、uh, the Japanese、uh, instruction, and there's the guidebook, and also there's、uh, the Twinbird coffee machine.、Uh, the series number is CMD four hundred fifty-seven. And this is、uh, for family use,、uh, as I can read some of the Chinese.、Um, so far, I see a lot of Japanese.、Um, more Japanese in the back. Let's see. All right. So most instructions are in Japanese. So, but the good thing is, you can see is basically.、Uh, It has a picture demonstration, so hopefully we can follow step by step.、Uh, in spite of that, we don't read much of Chinese,、um, Japanese. All right, moment of truth. Let's open it.
or coffee pitcher, coffee pot, um, quite a small size, actually smaller, smaller than what I thought, but you know, if it's a good machine, you know, coffee comes in, uh, if you're cooking coffee, since it's an automatic machine, it should be easy, right? Because it's uh, cooking automatically, so we can cook more batches if we need. So this is, um, uh, Michael, help me out. What will you call about this cup is? It's just the filter, like the... Uh... Yeah, my husband is a photographer today. Yeah, so. All right, so inside the pot, we have, this is an important measuring cup, and uh, I watch a review and then, Almost all the customers rave about how smart and important this measuring cup is. We'll find out later. And of course, there's the cleaning brush because uh, as we unveil the plastic of the machine itself, this unit right here is the grinder. So, and inside the grinder, after we use, we need to clean that. And also, it comes with a proprietary, uh, um, this is the filter for the copy grounds. And uh, there's also a special way that we need to fold it to make it uh, useful for this machine. I'm just going to open uh, and show everybody about these filters. So this is basically a handful of filters right here. All right, so let me just uh, display on the table a little bit. Okay. These are all the parts that you can find uh, with the uh, coffee machine. So, guidebooks, user's manual, then we're going to open up the plastic bag for the, the central unit of the machine. You can see this, uh, the power plug is in the back. I'm also going to unbag it right there. And um, so one thing is very important, and sometimes we actually notice the least and then the last. We almost forget about how important that is, the power switch. So everybody remember the power switch is on the side of the machine. And then when we have everything ready, ready to go, don't forget to turn this on first. But of course, I haven't plugged in the power cord. So uh, a little bit later, we're going to try a, a real road test on how uh, well the machine uh, would operate. Um, 
with the, a full set. So let's turn it off. And I um, also want to show you the side view as well. So this is a uh, the top for the water tank, which you can add up to three cups of um, water into this uh, the water reservoir. Uh, so basically, three cups as basically you fill the water all the way up to the three cup uh, line, then you can pour water in there. Okay. So this is the the lid for the water reservoir, and this important part right here would be the the heart of uh, basically the bee grinding mechanism. I don't know if I can actually successfully open that, but we'll try. Ah, here we go. Okay. So, this is a very, very important part of the automatic coffee machine because it has comes with its uh, own grinding mechanism. So, this baby right here, that will basically depend on how many cups of the liquid you want to make, then there will be how much of the coffee bean um, you can fill in here and then dump it in this uh, little hop here and close that. So one important detail is that this, uh, this grinding mechanism has this back that we can open up and then that's where you can see the the blade is inside this unit. So open it up and you can see all these uh, the blades. I suppose they're like a, almost like a motor, you know, like in the ancient time that the people used the stone and motor, you know, the, to basically grind things up. So this is actually uh, the idea of how this uh, particular brand's uh, grinding mechanism uh, mimic of. So it's, it's almost like you are using, you know, the little, the crushing stick and then you kind of grind in that motor. So that's actually the idea of uh, the inventor's, inventor's uh, intention. So then use a brush and so carefully to clean the inside after each use. So then you can keep the grinding mechanism always uh, basically smooth, that's important. But one thing that I just found out by mistakes is that be very careful when you go back and basically uh, close this uh, mechanism back. Make sure that the grooves are evenly uh, basically match. Uh, if you have an even closure, you won't be able to put this unit back into the machine smoothly and it will cause some serious problem. So just keep that in mind. So let's just put this back. Hopefully this time goes down smooth. Yep, see, just a click if it closed properly. And so after I investigate a little bit more about uh, the in uh, ingenuity of the design of this uh, the beam measure, uh, measurement cup I realized that there are three Chinese characters and then that uh, each one says for example you can see uh, the meaning is uh, light the in here is not about the flavor of the coffee is actually the uh, the, the level of roasting of the beans. So if you prefer the light roast coffee beans, then there's this one over here. You might actually need to study some Chinese in order to know what happened, what goes on this measurement cup. But uh, I think it's a very good design that uh, the inventor already calculated all the water and the bean ratios. So if you like light roast, then you have those measurements. To basically to fill your amount of beans and also there's the medium roast beans or the dark roast beans so so make sure that uh, if you buy this machine um, know these three words so that uh, when you put uh, the beans that you desire for the flavor you want then that it won't cause too much of mistake
Stay tuned for the inaugural brew using the Twinbird automatic coffee maker in the next episode.